Assalamu alaikum. So today we're gonna, you know, ask Ibrahim, you know, the famous 14 year old, some questions. Uh, you know, he just recently converted. I'm a fellow convert as well, so I have a lot of questions for him. So inshallah, we see, you know, his story and let's see what he, the gems he drops today, inshallah. inshallah. So Ibrahim, what was your story? You know, like a lot of people are questioning, what was, what attracted you to Islam? So it's just the fitrah, it's the fitrah. Okay. So we're all naturally born Muslim, but then over time it fades away because of the, and our parents. Mm -hmm. But everyone is, of course, attracted to Islam, like we all believe in Tawheed, but then it's been corrupted over time. So when I was like seven or eight going to church, wow, seven yeah. or eight going to church, there was something that was just not right. I just okay. felt it. Something that told me Jesus is not God. I knew it very early, very early on. Okay. So I started researching it. I still, even when I was Christian, did not believe Jesus was God and neither do my parents. Oh, wow. So, I started looking into other religions, and <clears throat> each one of them had their own contradictions, but Islam stuck out to me specifically, and that's when I started researching. Um, I had a few questions at first, but I just read the Quran, and whenever I had a question, I would just ask it, and boom, there was an answer for it. Sure. Then over time, over the past few years, until when I became like 11, 12, 13, mm. that's when I started really researching it, yeah. and was convinced it was the truth, and took my shahada. Wow, so so a couple years of, of research took it from 7 to 11. MashaAllah, like, you know, that's amazing to see a 7-year-old very inquisitive about religion, you know? You know, you don't see that nowadays, especially, you know, with people in Instagram and stuff like that. You know, you give little kids their phone and their own Roblox 24-7, yeah. and you stood out. You did not fall for those temptations from a very young age. You had that in you, you had that fitra in you, like you said. That's mashallah. So when you converted, what was the hardest part of um, taking that transition? It was it maybe talking to your parents about it or the actual commitment that it was. Just what was the hardest part for you after um, converting? The hardest part was at first it was pretty smooth. So my mother's side of the family, they they were a little skeptical at first, but they were okay with it. But however, when uh, when my father found out, he was not too happy. He got very angry and then eventually disowned me. Boom. Yeah. So we didn't talk for a few months then because um, he was not happy about my conversion. And, cause, and then over time, he started slowly, slowly normalizing it. And then, like, he apologized. And we're still, he's still a little shaky about it. Still not too happy, but he's tolerated it for okay. the most part, yeah. Alhamdulillah. That was, that was the main thing. But yeah, besides that, Alhamdulillah, it's been a smooth journey. We keep praying, we keep praying. Okay, so, you know, with that said, have you ever had any debates with your parents about, you know, Islam or, you know, even if maybe, you know, if your parents are atheists or Christian or whatever? Yeah. What are the debates like? And, um, do they try to listen and understand? Yeah, naturally, yeah. Because uh, my parents, they're they're closer to Islam than they are to Christianity. So, oh, sure. In their beliefs, yeah. They claim to be Christian, but they don't believe Jesus is God, and they do believe that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is uh, a prophet of Allah. So, they're Muslim. They're Muslim. Muslim. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. much. Sure. But yeah, my father, on the other hand, he's a hardcore atheist. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's uh, not very happy about Islam or any other religion, to mm. be specific. And um, his family nearly disowned him because he left Catholicism. He was a very big opponent of his family's religion. Mm. And how are the debates with them? Do you ever talk about the existence of God and stuff like this? And what does he say yeah. about your? Because you know, mm -hmm. you're very, you know, I know him outside of this, and he's very witty. You know, he, you're very smart. You, the information uh, you receive, you can actually, you know, talk about it very fast. So I'm assuming that you win all these debates. Well, yeah, mostly because um, it gets heated at times. Yeah. Oh wow. But most of the times. He just doesn't listen. That's the, that's the sad part. Oh, okay, so yeah. you know, in the Quran it says that some people, you know, their heart is. Yeah. You know, don't quote me. You know, I'm not quoting specifically, but um, their hearts are blinded. You know, it's like yeah. there's a veil over them. But inshallah, we pray and we make dua. Inshallah. Okay, I think we covered pretty much everything. Do you have any other comments that you want to make? Any advice for our fellow converts or people that are looking into Islam? Just. Just research, look into it. Don't be afraid. Um, you can just go online. Make sure you go to trusted sources. Just read the Quran, most of all. That's the most authentic piece of information, is just read the Quran. And if you have any questions, just go online and ask them. There's always an answer to anything. Yes. Yes. Uh, something that I would say to my fellow Christians is, 
you know, it's not haram to read the Quran. It's not haram to study, you know, study your own Bible, really question the things that are in there, you know. There's so many, many contradictions and, you know, question the authenticity of it. You know, this is history. It doesn't have to be religion. Just study where it comes from. Study where Paul got the, if Paul wrote the New Testament or not. Study all these things because you will find the truth. As a Christian, you will find the truth. If you are intellectually curious, you will find the truth. Inshallah, may I got it. Allah guide us all and we'll see you in uh, future videos, inshallah. Inshallah. inshallah.